Good morning, bestie. So it's Monday. I feel horrible. <laughs> I don't, I think I was vlogging. Yeah, I was vlogging at like four in the morning when I just could not go to sleep. The pain was excruciating. Um, My back still hurts, my lower back. <clears throat> I'm also kind of starting to get like a sore throat and congestion. I can feel it coming. I don't know what's going on. I think I have an infection. I'm um in the waiting room for a doctor to see me. I... I'm doing teledoc so it should be very quick and they should give me a prescription today and it, it'll just be like antibiotics so it's nothing complicated and i'm imagining it'll be a smooth process um this is my first time using teledoc actually and the, like signing up was a really smooth process just in the waiting room um, I don't know how long it's gonna be. She didn't tell me how long the wait was. I think Teladoc is really easy. I'll let you guys know how it goes, but I know my mom has used it and they literally just see her. She like says what she's feeling and they like will write out a prescription. And it's usually for simple things anyways. Hi guys, a little update. So I'm all done with my doctor's appointment. By the way, I'm gonna be spraying this um, facial mist witch hazel. I'm laughing because this literally reminds me of this morning. I just thought about this right now. It was like 4 a.m. and I was like dying in excruciating pain and I'm like showing you guys what products I'm using. <laughs> what can I say? Oh, my skin is so dry though. It feels so good. I am about to head to the pharmacy to go pick up my medicine. And then I'm going to go to my mom's house. She made um, soup. I think she made like chicken vegetable chicken noodle soup i think she made chicken noodle soup um so basically he gave me antibiotics he gave me a broad spectrum antibiotic because it seems i have an infection but he just kind of wants to be safe so that way we can fight whatever it is but i'm gonna go pick those up right now actually i should call first before i go to make sure it's ready hey besties so i'm leaving the house now oh my god it's so bright but anyways i'm going to the pharmacy now and then to my mom's house i'm so hungry i cannot wait to eat i just ate a granola bar because i haven't ate anything in like forever i don't even know oh wait oh yeah i went to olive garden i completely forgot that i went to olive garden yesterday yeah well i'm done eating out i did say that my last like eating out meal today would be starbucks but my brother just called me and he said he's buying starbucks for my mom and for him and they're getting medicine balls and i'm gonna get medicine ball too yeah let's go to the pharmacy good thing i don't have to get off let's see how much i have to pay Going back to what I was saying earlier, I miss when everything was free. Let's go. Miss Gorgia. Medication secured. Road to recovery. Besties, so change of plans. I have to pee really quickly. I'm going to explain this. I'm here at Target because I have to use the restrooms. I'm going to go to <laughs> Cabazon. It's literally like an hour drive. Well, actually, it's less. Hold on, I have to be really bad. So I've been at Cabazon for like 30 minutes and I cannot find anything. I wanted to go to um, Gucci. That's originally why I came. But the line was super long. I was not going to wait in there. And it's super cold. So I wasn't going to wait. But I'm going to guess now. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a line. Um, I had also gone to Coach. But there was a line there too. But I didn't mind waiting. The Gucci line was super, super long. The guest line was like, a, I mean, oh my god, the coach line was like a fraction of it. But now I'm at guess. It's a really short line too. So I can't breathe. I'm gonna go now. You guys probably hate me, and this has probably been the first, oops, the worst vlog ever. But I didn't really vlog at Cabazon besides that last clip that you saw. I went home after, no, actually I went to coach, then I went to Kate Spade, and I went to guess. I liked a lot of things in guess, but I just, I don't know, like I didn't like them enough. And so pretty much I didn't buy anything at the Cabazon Outlet Center. I have to use the restroom really bad. Um, let me just go upstairs to my room, I guess. So, after I left Cabazon, where did I go? I was like driving everywhere and I kept stopping myself. I was like gonna get coffee and then I was like, no girl, come on, like you don't need this. And then I was like gonna get boba and I was like, come on, seriously, I don't even like boba like that. But I don't know why I was just like craving a little snack. But I found like this juice bar. I know it's really dark. I'll turn on the light in a second. I had found like this juice bar on the way home. So that was like an, a healthier option, you know? But I was just like, ugh, I'm getting tired. I'd rather just go home. So I did. I came home. And actually, before I came home, I had to make a little pit stop. I went to Five Below. I'm filming a sponsorship. I had to get 
a mason jar because I'm pretty sure you guys will see. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna post the sponsorship first, but um, I, it's with a coffee brand. So I have to obviously like use their products in the video. So I'm gonna be making my favorite iced coffee recipe. I'm so excited to share that with you guys. And I needed a little mason jar because I don't have like any clear cups. I feel like that's the aesthetic, you know, that's the vibe. I can't just use like my cute mugs or my cute cups. I don't know, anyways. I'm gonna use a bathroom. I really, oh, and then I also went to Marshall's and I didn't find anything that was like, no, there's no good selection anywhere. Oh, welcome back. Um, anyways, good morning, guys. So it's like 7.30 right now. Here's today's plans. We're gonna have a super, super busy day. I'm not even gonna go over what I'm gonna do because I don't think I can remember everything. What the original plan was, I was supposed to wake up. Actually, I woke up at a good time. I was supposed to get out of bed way earlier than I did because I was supposed to go wash my car like at a.m. p.m. just because I need to vacuum my carpets. They are so dirty and I'm gonna take my car right now to um, get an oil change which is why I wanted to clean my car I don't want them in my car and it's like super dirty oh my god I look kind of skinny I'm like whoa okay <laughs> it's because I've been sick but um don't worry not covid not a cold not a flu it was actually an infection um that's not like contagious so <laughs> please don't come for me but yeah I have so many errands to run today there's just so much on my list so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. Clean out my car, like take out the trash that's in there and then just wipe down everything. That's the best I can do. Let's go. Okay, so I left the dealership. You guys would be surprised how much money I spent. And I'm going to spend because I haven't even paid for it yet. But basically, they said that because I had hit like 30,000 miles, I needed some services. So I ended up buying I don't know, some transmission services. It was so funny. He presented me the options. He was like, okay, so basically what we recommend is that you get your tires rotated and I don't know, something about fuels, I don't know. I mean, fluid, I don't know. And then he was like, transmission and the brake fluid or something. And I was like, mm, yeah, I'll just get the transmission services and the brake fluid. I'm over here acting like I knew what I was talking about. But anyways, my mom is um, with me now. She picked me up, she's my ride. And we're gonna go get breakfast. We're going to Farmer Boys. And yeah, that's what's going on right now. I thought it was gonna take longer. They suck, they're the worst dealership there. They usually do take a really long time. But today they said only an hour and a half. I think it's because I was like one of the first few people there. So yeah, and it was so funny. Mi cita no era para hasta mañana, pero me agarraron así. Y luego había una señora al lado de mí que estaba enojada que porque hizo cita y no la estaba recibiendo. Como salió así, quién sabe. But anyways, yeah, we're going to farm my boys, so I'll show you guys what I get. <laughs> I might also have this one right here. No, that's okay. I really like the print on that one, but thank you so much. You're welcome. Hey guys, so I came to the mall. I'm so sad. I fell in love with these Crocs. And they don't have them in my size. They had all black ones, but I feel like, I don't know, all black looks weird. And they had those white ones too. And I wasn't feeling it. But I came to buy shoes for my friend and I have not found anything that I can picture him wearing. And also he's so picky and he wouldn't send me a wish list so I don't know what to get him. And he's picky so that doesn't help. Guys, I don't know what this is, but look at how cute it is. It's so pretty, and there's like a fancy car in there. I don't know what this is, but it's so cute. I got a, oh, I left them all, as you can, as you guys saw, I was getting coffee. I got a sugar-free iced pink flamingo chai. I don't know what that even is, but it sounds good, and it's caffeinated, which is all that matters. And I think it's, I don't know, it's like a specialty drink, because their theme there is like pink, kind of. And then I got this um, vegan power cookie I don't know what oh yeah it's like cranberries pumpkin seeds and mm. this is really yummy I gotta go to my doctor's appointment now I think I'm gonna go back to the mall after my doctor's appointment because I really did not find anything so I'm gonna try again because Christmas is in two days 
and best is I came back to the mall and I found the Crocs <laughs> and I also got my mom some shoes and what else did I get? I forgot already oh yeah I went to Macy's and I found oh wait actually I don't know if I can say that is this something I put it before Christmas oh. besties I'm so tired I just want to go home I have not been in the comfort of my own bed since 7 in the morning it's 5 41 that's almost a whole 12 hours of just being out I spent over a thousand dollars today so I think I'm done shopping for the rest of the year I don't know how this happened okay well look at my crocs I don't know if I ever showed you guys but I'm wearing them. They're literally so cute. Oh my god, I love them. So, I came to put gas. 439 here, it's actually not that bad. But anyways, I got nachos and I kind of like cheated the system a little bit, not gonna lie. But I got nachos and the little bag only had like four chips in there. I, I, I was pissed. So I got two bags and I put them in the container and I put like a lot of cheese on there and I don't think she noticed that I had double the portion. So she only charged me for what? I do this to myself. I'm literally sobbing and I keep playing this sad music. I'm just gonna take a little nap and then probably go get groceries. Hopefully I wake up. If yeah, I'm going to sleep, guys. Goodbye. Leave me alone. Literally on do not disturb mode right now.